characters. I think Sonya has just been where the work is being done. And also, he's playing the character well and having these close sets against the best players yes. in the business. It makes sense to keep up with the character that's doing the work, right? Yes, and, and if there's just a little bit of tightening up there with the gameplay, as well as, you know, if, if there is an early lead for Azerbaijan, no pop-offs this time early. I think because we saw where that got I'm him. I'm going to have a tech <laughs> I don't consider it a pop-off. He was feeling himself. He was pumping himself all up right, and he was right. getting himself. I agree. I, I, I agree. He re that. That's, that's kind of what I meant, though, is he was feeling himself, but for good reason. And right off the bat, we're going to get some damage here from Azerbaijan. Not trying to show any bit of mercy. Going for the low. All the way. And we go, oh! Short hop into down two that whiffs immediately. Hayate, I think that's a testing the waters down two right there. Whiff on it, back All right, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hayate always using that back one. Why wouldn't she? It's a great tool. And going back into the warp needle, this is not going to be a win plus matchup. When you look at Fujin right now, especially in the path of Hayate, there are two loadouts, right? And it's not swapping one move for that. It's just getting two moves for the price of one sometimes. Having the needle means you get crossbow. But then having the wind push means you get wind push and then wind kick, right? So there's many different layers of utility for Fujin. Oh, that's it! Speaking of layers, we're, we're going into the wind layers here as Hayate closes out that first round. And it didn't look as convincing those first couple of hits, but Hayate just bringing that damage back like a machine. Yo, can you, can you remember that it took us 14 years before we could play Fujin again? He wasn't playable since Armageddon, which was, yeah. it might even be more at this point, because we've gone into a new year. That's a long time of not having the wind god. I'm so glad he's back. But there's that anti cross up coming out from Azerbaijan. All right. We're punished. Yeah, opening up with that back one string again. Ooh, the spacing. Hayate knowing that Azerbaijan is scary close up, but going oh, with the dive in. Enough, enough steps to trigger that crushing blow, the launch of the breakaway, and the back two. Doesn't go into anything, but looking for the guaranteed back one again. The needle on the end just to become a huge problem. Oh, the parry! Ooh! And we saw that during the set with Dragon as well. But that could have been a very bad punish. But gonna get the overhead to open up here. There's Any Dijon. confirmed Fatal Blow is gonna do it. This is not over! Oh, thought. <laughs> I wonder if he was looking for the roll. Potentially. Yo, the trip! Out of the oh, he my might no, he's god. Close. He's close. This is gonna be so close. One more mix, and this could be it. Oh and it's the Amplify Ring to close day. it out. He somehow landed that. Are you kidding hey, me? You know it was good if we got an Oh My Days out of you in 2021. All I, right. Oh, what do you have? He has as well. But somehow doesn't amp it. That could have been a launch with his name on it. Okay, going with the back, dude. All right. I like, <laughs> you know, and this is crazy to see, too, because Azerbaijan told me doesn't like to really use rings that much. It's but not his style. He's no, a down man. But he knows what he has to do sometimes and at that range. Wake up up three. Good choice there from Hayate. Doesn't quite believe in the back one. But the trade. That's a good trade for Azerbaijan. Yeah. Damage like... is damage. Okay, going with the back one string. Great read there for that Azerbaijan. Was a yeah, that was a punish. The forward three. Now, Hayate, there have been elements of a bit of a single hit confirmed, but on not that, this time. Yeah, on that missed throw. Very convincing first game there taken from Azerbaijan. But a game that was looking convincing for Hayate before yes. Azerbaijan pulled off the ridiculous comeback. Yes, it's like we, we had a whole different Sonya just going up and mixing, and Hayate is not one to kind of uh, get mixed that bad, usually. Not at all, not but it's coming down yeah. to confident decisions here from Azerbaijan, yes, whether it's anti -air the challenges, just good calls on the pressure. I like to see this confidence again, and this Ooh. is that kind of momentum that, that Speaking of confidence, if only he had believed there, would have been way more damage. But the corner is where we're at now. Empty jump to respect. And I love that choice. Hayate, mm -hmm. he gets uppercutted. And the moment he does his next Skywalker, he amplifies it on the way up to beat your button press. Like, we are adapting one step at a time, but it's so quick. Roman over. I, I love watching uh, just Hayate's optimals too. <laughs> when he gets, he when he gets the, the hit, stuff. he goes for the hard stuff and it's beautiful. I mean, there are two Fujin players that I see go for optimals. It's Ninja Killer and it's Hayate. And that's basically it. They are not easy confirmed Fujin. 
That was a great cross up there for Hayate. Going to close out that round and hit his advantage. But that's the funny thing about Fujin, because his execution, I think, got easier with Ultimate because the existence Ooh. of Arsenal. But there are still really hard optimals that you can go for. Most just choose not to. I was worried for a second he wasn't going to follow up anything after that forward three. It looked like he was about to get punished hard. Sometimes it's the delay. I dare you to press. We saw yesterday that late forward three on block into Fatal Blow from VGY that I think made the entire room gasp. Oh, interrupted interrupted the back one there from Sonya. Now, one of the things that we're looking at, too, is uh, distance. We're seeing a lot of the trades with the rings and Fujin's projectile. And that's Ooh. what I was just going to say. You got to be careful because that crushing blow is on deck. And in that case, he lands right on it. If he was aiming for it, it'd be a great shot. Ooh. Mm. All right, break. Burn. Yeah, break away. Not, not the best place to be in because you don't have any defensive bar, but Hayate let him get out of the corner, but at a price. <laughs> Gonna He's, anti air you. <laughs> there is definitely one element of this matchup, too, where Hayate has already learned that amplifying the needle on block is not something he's gonna be allowed to do. That's not gonna be a read. He can simply see the amp and then just parry it. And oh, what a great punish, too, from Azerbaijan. Has Fatal Blow on deck. This could be we'll it. See ya. Yep. One round apiece here in the second game. Azerbaijan, the fatal blow, the skeleton key for that the comeback. Boot that can stomp make. to the face. At least wipe your feet first. Look at how much dirt is on that floor, the corner positioning. But again, he's pumping himself up. Azerbaijan, he's feeling his own momentum, and I respect the hell out of that. Let's see if that carries over for the rest of the round. And looking clean at the beginning here. Okay, goes for the mix. Another. D that's shades of round one of mm -hmm. game one. I remember too the early game, life of this game. So many people were like, "You can't, you can't block that. You Ooh. can't block that." Her back one too. Another jump in. In this case, lovely block on the overhead, and we get the good punishes too. The tornado. Oh, there it is again. Big jump Woo! in. Woo! <laughs> the side swap's great because this positioning is absolutely wonderful for uh -oh. Azerbaijan. The no. down two punish. This is not what we expected. I feel like he could have got a lot more from that situation, but he's going to take a full combo for his troubles, and Hayate breaks himself right back into this match. The block on the energy ring is good, but with this fatal blow, all you have to do is land one clean hit. Watch out for the back two. Azerbaijan does not have a breaker here. He's going to be so careful. No, he didn't believe. The rings, and that's going to do it. The amplified rings. He didn't believe in the back two, perhaps. Mm -mm. Surely that's a situation where you pull the trigger on some kind of amp. This is... I, I don't want to say it's an upset at all, because both of these players are extremely skilled. But definitely with the way Hayate's been playing, like such a beast throughout this whole thing. Yes, yeah, somehow Azerbaijan in this set is playing better, which speaks volumes for the skill level that we're seeing right now. Two players that are absolute animals. And I'm no. so happy to see this Sonya. You know, Sonya is a character that a lot of people have, do not have faith in these no. days. Oh. He tends to be on a lower end of community tier lists, but clearly, come on, many he's still capable. I mean, look at how many people dropped her. Look how many people are in this tournament that might have played her before and don't play her anymore. And it's not Arsenal. because she got nerfed really hard or anything. Mm -hmm. It's that a lot of the players players got better at playing the game and Sonya seemed to fall out of favor. But clearly, you can still play this character mm -hmm. incredibly well. Especially with the good movement. And we've been seeing a lot of really great movement here from Azerbaijan. There is that immediate mind game. Oh, wow, carry the carry! Again. What no a perfect timing! Block needed. The jump in. He went for a counter the cross punch. up jump kick. Ends up getting the hit. Catch up. And we're going for different jump timing, but there mm. is the knowledge. Azerbaijan dedicates to the energy ring and Hayate gets a clean duck into mm. a full punish. And watch the damage from this right here. Not too shabby. Mm -mm. Not the at overhead. All. The overhead no, hit. swinging. He is swinging, mm. and he's in big trouble. Fatal blow. Right that is blow. probably going to kill. That does yes. so much damage. Does. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Close your eyes, gonna Fujin. This is going to hurt, mate. Oof. No discipline. No discipline. Azerbaijan what a on. Thing to say when he tried to down two that many times. Ugh. A BM from Sonya. He's on set point right now. There's a lot of work this to do. This is a nail biter, though, with, I, with seeing how Hayate's performed today. I gotta say, Romanova, I don't think anyone would have predicted a 3 0 if this is where we're gonna go. By no means do I mm -hmm. wanna commentate as cursing, but this has been a ridiculous game. Oh, the 4 yeah. 3. Oh, for the, the back four, one. What a great recovery from that, too. Looks a little bleak there for a second. Alright, back one. Hayate back in. Huh? Lovely Ooh. spacing. Yo, I heard Fujin had no anti air. Where are you at? Needle coming through again for the damage. We cash out. Anything we can get our hands on. The, oh, oh, watch out! Back one, two! Oh, 
Ghost. Goes for the low, gets interrupted on the rings there. This is going to be great damage to cash out on. Still a little bit left, though. Oh, great oh, with oh, punish oh. there from Hayate, closing out that round. I tell you what, I respect the hell out of it, though, because if mm -hmm. Azerbaijan landed that overhead, that, that's a launch. That's a launch mm -hmm. into combo damage, into momentum, into whatever, yeah. into what could have been a comeback, into a CU next time. But as the match point still belongs to Azerbaijan, Hayate can by all means pull off this crazy comeback. And he's done it before. Oh, fine. that's like the first time, too, we've seen the, the drone launch. <laughs> the drone. Another anti air. Oh, and it's late. Big pickup there. Oh, try to... <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious. That was so good. That reminds me of MK4, that crazy little spin that he does. You try and press a button, you just get sucked into it. Ayate doing good to duck those projectiles. Ooh. Oh, but gets the hit anyway, Azerbaijan. Wait a minute. Momentum okay, is his middle name he, at he this went point. For, he went for the Amplify, too. Yes, he did. He needs damage and corner carry. And Hayate, again, escaped the corner. So many players are showing respect to this Sonya corner game, and they don't want to have anything Ooh. to do with it. Oh, and he goes That's for a hard be it. Game finally on board for Hayate over here. An important win to have. An opportunity for Hayate to just, I'd say, breathe that sigh of relief. But you can see the intensity, right? This mm -hmm. isn't over, and he knows it. Not even close. Now, I would hate to see a repeat of what happened with that game during Dragon. So I really hope that Azerbaijan does keep that momentum. But deserving as well, Hayate is such a strong player. Absolutely, if he can come back from that, deserves that win 110%. After being down 2-0, my goodness, we could be going catch up into another game five. I wouldn't doubt it for a second, as now we're going back in. This kind of just shy of, well, pretty much jump distance game has been a really interesting one. They've both got options, but right now the counter hit. Man was pressing buttons and pays the price as the Amplify keeps you in the corner. That wasn't damage, that was just Sonya not wanting to throw you out of the corner when she worked so hard to get you there. The flawless block on the jump in, but wait a minute, Hayate has to watch out for this mix. Oof. Oh, the tech on that throw, but the rings are gonna deny it, but Hayate pressing that back. One. Now, there's a lot of damage left to go, but Fujin's damage is not to be scoffed at. Did but the mid! Did see that call Ooh. out too? Didn't even care if Fujin was diving in. Match point for Azerbaijan is here yet again. But we've seen Hayate. I think this rock solid play until the very end, but what can he do here? Azerbaijan, he's competing at every single range that Fujin brings to the table. Keeping yeah, you and grounded. I, and I feel like this is just one of those matchups that, you know, these players aren't really labbing as much these days. I'm sure, you know, they're pro players, so they're labbing as many matchups as they can. But, you know, nobody really, as especially because Azerbaijan was announced last minute, replacing Mr. 5000, you know, expected to see a Sonya here. It's a hard matchup to call at this position because Hayate, we've seen so many things that he's had to change anyway. Anything with a gap in it, he just can't go for it because we see the parries come out. And now the breakaway is used for Hayate, the jump in. But the second you've broken away and you've got block it, who cares? What are you going to do about it? He's oh, going to He's gonna condition. He got you going. He got you thinking he's going for the overhead. Going to go for the low. Oh, that could have been the game over. Oh, with punish. Hit. That with is so unfortunate, here. Roman over. And the breakaway. This is Hayate's last chance, and he gets the catch there. Has Fatal Blow on deck if he can manage to get a hit, confirm off of it. Goes with, oh my gosh, that was so close going in with the forward three. That's the bad, he's frozen up. He, he's just, he's holding this defense. Trying to find his opening too as well. Gotta watch out. This is a critical moment, Hayate. This one's on a hit. Oh, and he ends up getting the hit from the forward three. Azerbaijan in that round, he froze up completely. And Hayate, absolute focus. It's mandatory at this stage. So close. What a nail biter so far. That was such a weird ending to that game because that forward three should have been the, the, the round ender on its own. We somehow find a way to keep things going. A wonderful trade there. The amplified crossbow doing way more damage than energy ring. And the forward three begins. The breakaway is used. And this went from a great situation for Azerbaijan to looking a little bit worrisome, I think, because Hayate, he's got the momentum. Okay, going for the jump in. Oh, wins the air to air there for Hayate. And this is a tricky position now. Good damage. 
Hayate really trying to close this out as safely as possible, if you know. Like, just look at this distance. Almost there, closing it up, and that's going to do it right there, that back one. Little down two to close it out there. We're going into game five. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Hayate has been playing out of his skin mm -hmm. so far. I mean, mm -hmm. Big D pointed it out on the analyst desk. He's like, this guy is bringing this step above A game. And against Azerbaijan, that was looking kind of concerning because here comes Azerbaijan who's just rocking up here, pulls off the crazy comeback in game one. Game two is looking comfortable. And now Hayate has been sticking it through into this final game position with so much of the matchup being changed. The parry has changed so many strings up close that we have to go with Skywalk alone. And it's enough to get the job done, but there's the mid. You know, they don't call him Hayate the God for nothing. The God. The God. Win God, boys. These rings have been a lot of trouble, though, and... Uh... Now, that's why we're not seeing it. The punish? Ooh. Mm. Most characters cannot punish that. Tell you what. No parry. I know. Great, great blocks, though, and defense, though, so far from Azerbaijan. Oh, but he gets caught by the needle, though. Ooh. There's the launch. There's the back one, too. Went for the overhead. Went for the low that time. Hayate saw it coming. Said, you've got me with this, with this before. You're not going to condition me. All it takes is one good projectile. Anything really in this mm -hmm. case, it will be good to put Hayate on match point. Azerbaijan, oh, he had such a good start. We've got to hope for his sake that history doesn't repeat itself. Any Azerbaijan fans out there definitely don't want to see it happen, but I'm sure there are plenty of Panda fans out there popping up for their boy. Oh, yeah. Also, too, right now is one of those moments I don't believe in uh, this current round, in either of these rounds, that the crushing blow has been done. So really have to be careful of that. Uh -oh. break. But that is good. First hit there for Hayate, but again, push back from neutral. Doesn't really matter, though. This is it's a Bujin. terrible situation to be in with no defensive bar. The lovely punish, though, just the right range for it. Mm. But every time a launch inevitably happens, Hayate managing his defensive bar so amazingly well that he can just break the moment he gets touched. And you notice that there hasn't been much wake-up attacks coming out from him. There hasn't been a lot of the cancels <gasps> on Skywalk. Called the forward three out. Punish right there. This is this is looking strong right here for this round for Azerbaijan. Punishes the, the forward punish. three. Oh, okay, no defensive meter left. Great tech on that throw, but Hang Azerbaijan on. gonna get opened up by that forward three. We have Fatal Blow on deck. Reset into the tricky business. If he gets opened up now, that Fatal Blow is coming I out. Guess. Remember, Sonya, 950 health. The Fatal Blow's gonna do it! That, no, oh, away. what? He's too far away! It did hit. What are we gonna see? Whiff what? the throw, no punish on that whiff throw! Oh my god, what? Was that match point both players, but Hayate, he hit the 4 3 into Fatal Blow, but he's at the, the absolute furthest of far range. What? Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Insanity. This is game five down to the final round. I honestly don't even feel like I can talk at this stage. This is too close for comfort. But Get no trade this time. Too. The rings. Hayate really playing safe here. Gets the opening. Get a little bit of damage off that 4-3. Oh! The thing about this, you need damage to go for the Skywalker launch, and Hayate without any of it means that his damage is going to be kind of thin And there's right that now. crushing blow! It was on deck. The fatal blow. It is slowly coming back for Hayate, and I think that might be quite an important fact. There's a low, but he doesn't believe, does not want to commit. The flawless block on the jump in is fantastic, but he needs more! Oh my gosh! It just got him with the amplification there! Oh, he's being so sneaky. He wants you to press buttons so bad. Hayate could Oh, and that's that. gonna be it! Yes! That is gonna be the That not, was ridiculous. Not letting history repeat itself and getting reverse 3 0 there. My goodness. I don't even know if that picked up on our microphones, but you heard the pop-off from Azerbaijan. Oh, that was you, you can hear so many people screaming because they've seen this.